Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and today we are continuing on with the Monster Cat 10 year anniversary reactions with a U5 and uh, Juventa featuring Charlie Bath. This will be Dying Star from 2013. That rhymed a little bit. Um, or, yeah, uh, something rhymed in there. I'm not sure what I said. <laughs> Sounded, whatever. Um, I'm interested to see this song a lot, to see where this is going, see where this is going to be. This is early AU5 days or early-ish, uh, back in, I think, like, Ison or Pavanine days, I think. Uh, let's go back. Let's do a quick little search here. His first song on Monscat was, uh, oh, February 2013 with Sweet. Um, and then he had, uh, oh, the Tonight remix in April, uh, Halakin, um, but yeah, that one, uh, Moonland, uh, wait, that song is, wait, yeah, okay. Uh, Moonland, Blossom were 2013, uh, Smoke was the end of 2013, and Secret Weapon, and Dreaming, and Blue. So, uh, yeah, so this is early days of A5, uh, and you know what, let's just, um, let's jump into her. Here is, uh, Dying Star by A5 Juventa, and featuring Charlie Bath. I think this is going to be some grimy, gritty dubstep. I may be very wrong, but who knows? It's melodic dub. We're going to have to know that, though. I've not heard anything from Juventa before, so I have no idea what their style is like at all. So fun little chords, they sound a little chimey to me actually. They're quite like glassy. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, this is definitely old school A5. Okay, also we are jump there that just happened. Uh, I knocked my cord out of my headphones, so I had to pause the music and stuff, but so, <laughs> sorry. Good first drop, though. I think I, uh, this is what I expected it to be. Uh, the style, pretty much, exactly. I like the vocals, too. They're nice. I wonder with these songs if, like, these vocals have actually been waiting for, like, eight years. Like, if they've just been done and never came out, or if they redid it for this. Who knows? It's probably different with every song. It is mixed like it's older. Like, I can't hear the vocalist as much. It's not as predominant or, um, yeah, predominant in the mix as much. Which is an older take on dubstep rather than a more modern take where it emphasizes more of the vocal performance, but... Here we go! Round two! Oh, I love that ding, 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 ding part. He's 
extended second drop. Right? Can't remember exactly. My headphones came out, so. Ooh! I thought I was gonna do that right before, but it didn't. Now it is. Oh! Best part of the song, for sure. Wow! Okay, that really... <laughs> That really did sound like uh, 2013 85, especially because there's no really um, like calming outro to it. There's no like slow fade away and keep the, it just like kind of just did the jumpy part and then it just, uh, so that was Dying Star from 2013 by AU5 Juventa and featuring Charlie Bath or Both or whatever. Um, I liked it. I, I mean, I was a fan. Uh, I, I, it's not AU5's best song ever. Uh, there's, I think, a reason that this was a, a whip for long as or for as long for as long as it was. Um, it's still a solid song, though. It's something I would have enjoyed, I think, a little bit more back in 2013. Obviously, because that's when this was supposed to be made. Wow, who would have thought? Um, but uh, I, I did enjoy it. I, I definitely liked that last section a little bit more. The the double time pace there. Um, I was I was a fan of that. Uh, overall. Song, uh, solid. Uh, I would probably, I haven't given many number ratings or any yet, but uh, like I think like a seven out of 10, um, something like that. Uh, I, I don't know why this one feels like it needs to have a numerical rating and not some other songs do, but um, yeah, I was, uh, I was a fan. I, uh, I, I don't think there's much more I, I think I can say about this. It, it really did feel like uh, a 2013 A5 that I would have enjoyed thoroughly back then, so. Uh, that was it. That was Dying Star. Uh, so I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What do you think of this track? Uh, in terms of my expectations, I think I was slightly underwhelmed, if that makes sense. I, I can't really be underwhelmed at all for anything because it's older tracks, but um, it, it's, it's not the grandiose epic AU5 that we're kind of so used to and so blessed to have nowadays. And so this is still a solid track though. Yeah, with that, I've been Bowtie Media. I will see you guys in another video.